Hello, good morning. Uh, no fancy intros today. Uh, you just get me saying welcome to another muscle fishing film with Amputee Angler behind us. We are, of course, out on easy living. I've had around about two hours sleep and uh, we are currently out going for some squid. Look at that gorgeous sunrise over there, over sort of Seaford and uh, Eastbourne Way. Absolutely beautiful. First time properly targeting squid. I have had a play around with it over the years and had one or two, but never actually really given it a good go. So quite looking forward to this, a little bit different. And uh, yeah. let's get to fishing and uh, try and get some on board. I might have one. Right, I think we're into our first squids of today. That was on the drop that time, actually. Now, this reel was a little bit stiff, which isn't very good for this sort of fishing, because you need to keep winding, keep the tension on it. Otherwise, I'd say goodbye. Uh, yep, yeah, there is. Yay, Ooh. first one of the day. Well done, Jake. Thank you. Oi, there we go. One lovely squid. And, uh, yeah, be days. Be cool. There we go, first one go. of the day for Jake. Only comes out here and catches the first fish, doesn't he? What's that all about, eh? Rubbish fishermen, mate. <laughs> Cheers, so, squid number one, which is going to go reset the drift and uh, yeah, try and catch a few more. I'll go through rigs and stuff uh, in a little while once we've had a few. But they're, they're so simple, I mean, yeah, there's nothing really to explain apart from two half blood, blood loops and a couple of jigs on them, just like you would a mackerel feathers. Um, but I'll explain a little bit later. We're going to reset the drift and have another go. There we go, right, squid on, my first one of the day. It felt a bit cuddly at first. No, it's a nice squid. It's a good squid. That's a big one, this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that's a good one, isn't it? There we go. That is a cracker of a squid. Look at that, that is a beauty. There we go. Well done, bud. Beautiful. Lovely. Right, so it's been a bit difficult. We've had um, men's puts on lots of different marks, and finally we've uh, come to back to the old mark. And uh, Ben's just had one, and uh, I'm now winding in to one. Come on, then, squiddy right, squiddy. Back of the boat there, there's one. I see uh, one at least. There he is. Not a bad one. That's a good size one. Oh, there we go. Squiddy. Fantastic. Look at him. Lovely. Well done, Jake. Good. Good bait. Dean, how are you getting on? <laughs> uh, yeah, I made a fabulous breakfast. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dean, to be fair, bless him, he's made us a lovely, lovely uh, breakfast and uh, he's yet to catch one, but I'm sure he will. Um, he can't go home without one. There you go. Gorgeous little thing. We were just looking at a plane in the sky and um, I thought, what the hell was that? And mid water. We have a squid on. That was a nicer one. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, boy! That's I got a bit wet. It's got a square on me. Look at that, another one. Lovely. Well Look at that. Well Beautiful. Done. So, j the jigs don't, um, squid jigs don't have hooks on them. They have big, very sharp prongs, and that is what the squid attaches to. And obviously, they get, they get caught on it, and, uh, and that's how you catch them. But yeah, simple, really. Beautiful that really, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. They make fantastic baits. Some people like eating them. Um, if someone was to make one for me, I'd also like eating them. But um, yeah, I'm more interested in uh, cooking something big with them. Right, that was good fun. That was being water column, so we'll keep going. Ooh, we have another squid on. Second drop down, straight away. I don't think it's a big one, but um, very, very important to keep attention on. If you release the tension, you'll normally lose the fish. Here he comes. Babby. Little one. Well done. Hey. Oh, he inks a bit over the boat. Oh, 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 oh amateur. Done. You're showing someone down to a small one. So Jake's got another one. Little baby pass. That's a lovely squid, that is. That's that is a bass bait all over that. Well done, Jake. stuff. Let's try again. Here we go. We've either got a double shot of squid on or we've got a real big one. Um, just got to keep that pressure on, otherwise they will come off. 
So Jakey boy is there. on three drops for three squid here, and this one looks a double shot or a slightly bigger one. I'm hoping it's going to be a big five pounder. Oh, 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 oh that's a good squid. He's all right. That's a big one. Ready? Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in. That's a big squid, biggest hey! of the day. Well hey! done, Jakey boy. Hey! Sign that. that one. That's a nice one, isn't it? That's my hands, and that is a good squid, Jake. Well done, Thank mate. You very much. Now, I'm just going to show you why you keep the tension uh, on, on these squid is because if I get this. I get this barbule. You'll see the barbs here. If I turn that the other way, so this is like loose, say loosening in the rod, look how easy that drops off. So any loose, any sort of slack line, the squid goes forward and it just comes off. So you've got to, got to keep that tension on and usually they'll, they'll stay on. But yeah, rig wise, very, very simple. It's just, yeah, little, like, like a wrecking rig basically of what I've showed you before in my videos. But instead, you just put a couple of little squid jigs on. A bit of weight on the bottom. You should really have a lure on the bottom there, but I've just, I've just got to wait on. Right, let's, let's try and get some more. Get out on camera. You can <laughs> I've lassoed. Jake has lassoed a mackerel. <laughs> I am that good that hooks are too easy. I'm now just, yeah, I'm now just lassoing them. Excellent. I'm going to keep that because I might. Um, I've got a float rig here, and I might just put a hook on the end and try and uh, try and see if we can get a garfish, or I'll lend the, lend the rod to Ben and he can get the garfish. Look at that! I've actually put the line through the uh, <laughs> through the lip. That wasn't going anywhere. I'll get this photo for Jake and I'll put it in. He has lassoed a so, mackerel. It's gone in, hit the jig, or it's popping the rod. I've now got to pull the weight through the bottom of the lip. Very, very odd. Not sure how I've done that. I'll never be able to do that again in my life. But. Oh, look at that, man. That's a mackerel. How have you done that? One, <laughs> there we go. Ridiculous. Have a squid on. What I'd done there is, I'd, uh, as I was letting it go down, I was just stopping it uh, every sort of 10 foot and letting it bounce. Yeah, lovely, Jake. Well done, Mid buddy. column, that one. Hold it up. There you go. Big jigs. Yeah, baby. Well done, buddy. That's right. No worries. Thank you very much. There you go. Another little squid. As I said, I was just uh, I was working those lures on the different parts of the column, and, uh, and yeah, that one was mid water, so just shows. Just see, just trying to show you here. Let's try and show you what we're doing. Right, so we're dropping we're dropping it now. And when it gets, we're in 50 foot of water, and when it gets to about now, I'll just stop it. Give it a couple of a couple of bounces. Just if they're there, they should take it, and then drop it again. Stop it. Another pop squid on. This was mid water column. I was doing that thing, just dropping it down as we go down. I think this is quite a nice one. Um, but we're going against the tide, so uh, obviously it might not be as big as I think, but it does it does feel quite nice. It feels quite heavy. Oh, it's not a bad one. Not a bad one. That's another nice one. Hey, there, there we go. Look at that. That is a beautiful bait. And that will be fantastic bait for when I go up to Scotland uh, in a few weeks time. That'll be lovely, look at that. That's another one. It's a nice one. Yeah, straight off the back there, reset it. I'm keeping an eye on where we're drifting. Right, and we're, hang on. Oh, Dino's oh, got something nice, so it's a triple look up. Wait, wait. Oh, Jake, Jake just Scott about got him in. in. I'm going to try and show you. We have a moment of silence, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's in. Dean's, uh, yeah, Dean's got a squid. Dean's got a squid. He's got a squid. Get in. He's got a squid. Yes. Fantastic. Go, get him. Oh, dear. Triple hook. Got him. Go on. I'll let that swearing out, Dean. Don't worry. There we go. Well done, chaps. Triple hook up. Excellent. Well done, Dean. Well done. Boom. Let's get some more. Oh dear, we got excited there. Dean's not had one all day, and um, we fin finally <laughs> triple look up. We all got one. Fantastic, bud. Big shoal going Another through. Another squid's now. coming in. Big shoal going through. Another squid coming in. So I'm on the bottom, just left, let it do its thing. Oh no, it's a baby oh, cuttle. Oh, he's got a baby cuttle. Oh. If you hold that. Oh. There you go. You can see there, one of his tentacles has just shot out and grabbed the uh, the end of the lure. See, that's how they grab their fish. Look at that, it's about a foot there. Amazing. All right, let's get him in the bucket. Very good conga bait. 
Well, just about to reset our drift and I have a fish on that's a squid oh, it's a squid Whoa! <laughs> go. excellent no, uh, I'm I'm a, in the back. we're at about 24 25 we're gonna try and get try and get 30. well for some reason on this occasion the uh outro didn't actually record but uh we got i think 38 squid in the end so um yeah pretty pretty good session Thank you for watching the video. Head over to the Amputee Angler's channel to go and check out his version of the day and lots of other videos on his channel as well. Thank you very much for watching and take care.